Muna, good morning. Good morning. Yes, good, good morning. morning, Lagos. How are you today? We are, we try our best. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm in the studio here with um, Edewo as well. Our people have said that they listen to us. We go do this particular interview for English so that uh, Madam Emuna go fit drop the message we say she gets with us this morning. Proper, proper. Yes. So, Emuna, let's start with the very first one. What is Global Citizen all about? Global Citizen Live, what is it about? So Global Citizen Live, um, let me just level set and give a context to what is currently happening uh, before I talk about Global Citizen Live. So essentially before the pandemic, we were already slightly off track um, to achieving the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, which, was, which were targets adopted by all governments in 2015 at the UN General Assembly. Mm -hmm. um, and then COVID happened. Um, so this has been reversed essentially by a decade, the impact that COVID has caused. So in terms of numbers, we're looking at almost 150 million people that are estimated to fall back into extreme poverty because of the devastation that COVID has caused. So with the Global Citizen Life campaign, we're looking to focus on really four key actions that we're trying to drive with this campaign. The first one is we're focusing on really what do we do to be able to end the pandemic for all so that we'll be able to recover better together. First of all, we're advocating as an organization for rich countries to donate their excess doses. So we're looking at at least 1 billion COVID-19 vaccines doses to be donated to vulnerable countries by September. Looking at Africa alone, um, we're barely vaccinating 3% of the African population that have taken at least one dose. From a Nigeria context, we're looking at slightly just more than 1%. Um, the second action we're pushing really is to revert the hunger crisis affecting about 41 million people in the world um, that are pushed into farming. Um, so with that, we're looking to raise at least $6 billion to relieve um, farming efforts and to be able to provide meals to the vulnerable. The third most important factor for us as well that we're looking at to advocate for is resuming education for all. They are currently slightly over 4 million kids that are out of school. Uh, and we're looking to raise about $400 million to be able to get them back into education. From a Nigeria context, again, Nigeria has the highest number of out of school, out of school children currently. And if you're looking at the numbers, over 60% of those are actually girls. And last but not the least, obviously we're looking to combat the catastrophic climate change by securing commitments from world's largest companies um, as well as develop verified um, science-based targets for us to be able to um, achieve net zero emissions. Um, from Nigeria, you can see currently we've started experiencing a lot of flooding across the country. Um, we're experiencing deforestation in the northern parts of the country. This is causing quite a lot of insecurity, the herdsmen issues. So to mention, we can actually look at contextualized, localized impacts of climate change that we can see. So from a global citizen perspective, Global Citizen Live is a 24-hour um, event um, that's broadcast event that's happening on the 25th of September to reunite the world, defend the planet and defeat poverty. This would feature performances um, from cities like Lagos, London, Los Angeles, New York, Paris, Sydney, to mention but a few. Mm. All right then. Okay. Um, when I see, I know say this Global Citizen Live, right? And as I say, you know, I get many artists on top of our campaign matter Sorry, doing this. I, I just keep, I have to go back oh, to my PJ. It happens, it but it's when I'll go back to English. Um, so seeing that you have the likes of Femi Kuti, you have the likes of Tiwa Savage, you have Made Kuti on this as well, you have Davido on it. So we'll talk about the Global Citizen Live. Are we talking about a concert, say like the Live Aid concert you had in the 1980s? Is it something similar? And if it is, how can people join this particular campaign? When will it go live? How do we make our donations? And how do we also key in? Okay, so yeah, it's exactly similar to Life Aid. So as an organization, um, our strategy is pop meets policy. Um, so we use our artist community and talent community to just make policy a bit more digestible to global citizens and followers in general. So it's a 24 hour broadcast. It's going to be streamed live on Global Citizens YouTube channels. But we're also going to be announcing regional and local broadcasters in the coming weeks as well. 
And with that, we have performances, as you said, by the African queen, Anjali Kijo is performing as well on our stage in Paris. Burna Boy is going to be on our stage in New York. And then we have Davido Femi Kuti, um, Tiwa Savage, and also Madi Kuti in Lagos. Um, we, we also have 30 governments around the world supporting these initiatives. Um, in Nigeria alone, we have our foreign minister, Mr. Jeffrey Yama, supporting us, and the Lagos State Governor, uh, Mr. Babajide Songwolu, as well. Uh, globally, we have the European president supporting us, President of France, and so on and so forth. So we have quite a lot of government supporting the initiative because essentially we're championing um, the targets of the Sustainable Development Goals. But most importantly, we're also really pushing as an organization to end the pandemic first, campaign for vaccine equity and vaccine uptake. Okay. Um, I, I, I'm listening to everything you said, and I noticed that uh, your, the, the focus of uh, the, uh, the whole campaign, like you, you touched COVID, education, poverty, and some other things. Now, looking at that, um, where this um, intentional, um, you guys decided to touch these arms intentionally, or is it because of the current situation going on around the world? Because we know that there are other things that are also affecting the world at large, but the, the, the major four you just highlighted, climate change, education, um, COVID, and poverty, are these like the major four that you're going to be touching a loan for this campaign, or there are other, you know, sub things that will still be um, addressed? Um, so essentially, as an organization, we're championing all 17 SDGs, right? Okay. But this year, um, COVID happened, and we thought, which SDGs can we pinpoint okay. that would be able to really push to be able to end the pandemic? So in February this year, we launched our recovery plan for the world, okay. which were just five specific SDGs that we're going to be focusing on to be able to end the pandemic and recover better together. Mm -hmm. So that's why we zeroed in on those ones. So education, health, equity, and and also climate change as well. Hmm. Um, but with Global Citizen Live happening, our focus really, especially for the Lagos event, mm -hmm. is to make sure that we promote vaccine um, equity and vaccine uptake. And with that, um, we're in partnership with Lagos State, we're running a really limited capacity privately ticketed events. The reason okay. why we're doing that is in celebration of our frontline workers, people that have mobilized to help us in the initial response to COVID and also now they're helping us get vaccinated. Mm. Um, this frontline workers, we're going to be running a fully vaccinated audience with members of the medical community, anybody who's a first responder that is fully vaccinated, this concept is going to be in celebration of them. But the rest of the people can visit our website on www.gclivelagos.org and also follow us on Twitter and Facebook on Global Citizen Africa and also on Instagram on Global Citizen at Global Citizen to learn more. All right. Makes so there's sense. something you said earlier on that caught my attention, and that's you talking about the fact that, yes, it's going to be a 24-hour program, and you're going to be breaking down or rather simplifying government policies. Um, run us through how this is going to happen, because I know what you're going to put on the front line is more of the concert, people wanting to see their favorite artists um, perform. But I know there's, does this mean there's going to be more of talks, more of panel discussions? Um, let's, not, let's understand how you plan to break down those policies. Uh, what kind of um, programs are going to be going on simultaneously within 24 hours? So essentially leading up from now till the 25th of December, we're going to be quite, doing quite a lot of um, panel discussions on radio and also online as well, just breaking and d diving deep into our specific policy objectives. So for example, in education, we're going to be talking about how do we bridge the digital divide in education or how do we even start thinking around financing safe schools for kids with all the school kidnappings and things like that that are going on. And then for health, we're going to be thinking around how do we advocate for more Nigerians to go out and get vaccinated mm -hmm. or what do we, at, um, how do we advocate for Nigerians and to debunk, um, debunk certain myths around vaccines as well. And for equity specifically, we're really championing the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Bill, campaigning and advocating that all 36 states get to domesticate that so that survivors and victims get the help that they need. But essentially on the 25th, the event that is happening is going to be some sort of a pledging summit, right? So we have the artist community performing and we have our, our frontline workers in the audience enjoying themselves but we're not when we're standing it 
it's also a policy pledging summit where we would have corporates and policy makers coming on our stage pledging towards these pillars that I talked about. So mm -hmm. for example, we'd have private sector organizations coming in as regards their CSR and sustainability efforts, pledging um, financially towards education, towards health or towards equity. Mm -hmm. The same with government officials coming in, pledging towards certain policy commitments. Mm -hmm. What we do as an organization is over time, uh, depending on the duration of that commitment, we're going to track those commitments, report impacts on them over time as well. So we're essentially the watchdogs for those commitments. So just to be very clear, so 25th of August is when the pledging happens, and that's when we're having the live concert, is it? He gets to stream live or watch um, using other platforms Fantastic. As well. But then from now to December, discussions will continue to happen um, mm -hmm. on your platform, is it? Exactly. Discussions okay. will continue to happen. We'll be able to get um, global citizens involved. Um, so in order for you to learn more and keep up to date with what you're doing, um, you can join us by downloading the Global Citizen app or by visiting our website to register and become a global citizen. With that, you would get first-hand information on what's going on. And also you get to take action towards those pillars that you're passionate about mm -hmm. um, by signing a petition, sharing messages, emailing policymakers, and also with with that you get to you get to earn points and also you get to win rewards as well so you're taking making the effort to develop your communities essentially you're being rewarded for that so you, you might get things such as digital content experiences beauty products tickets merchandise and so on and so forth all right woman, just before we let you go what do you want what do you hope will be the the biggest takeaway at the end of the live concert happening on the 25th what do you want people to go home with or go away with at the end of the day the biggest takeaway is just for people to be aware of um, that the devastation that COVID is causing. And it's not just a government effort, it's everybody's responsibility to mobilize, to be able to recover better together. So I would urge Nigerians and global citizens on the continent in general to go out there and get vaccinated. Also for global citizens to download that app so that they can get to take action towards system, understand systemic causes of extreme poverty and also get to take actions on issues that concerns them, get to call out a policy makers, corporates and everybody to be able to invest back into the community. All right, then. Great stuff. Well, thank you so much, uh, Mimuna, for joining us. Mimuna Maibe is the country director, Global Citizen Nigeria. We're talking about the Global Citizen um, Live concert coming up on the 25th of August this month. And of course, like she said, discussions will continue till the end of the year and I'm sure beyond. So visit their website to keep yourself um, updated with those discussions and the dates so you know when to go live and also know how to contribute and make your pledge.